Happy New Year everyone! What better way to nurse a hangover and to wash the bitter taste of 2020 out of our mouths than with a Wisconsin style Bloody Mary and a beer chaser. Today we'll be making the Wisconsin style Bloody Mary. Before we get started I'd like to show this lovely little robe that I picked up from Lily Silk back in February I want to say. It, the price point is pretty good. The color is rich. I love the gold color. It's a nice basic silk robe. The only downfall is all the Lily Silk products I've received that are longer sleeved seem to develop this puckering. Um, I don't know why that is. I ordered in the correct sizing. As you can see, there's plenty of room in here for me to move around. But um, to read a full review, please visit my link. So typically in Wisconsin, people don't really wear silk robes in January, so I'm going to put on the proper attire. As you can see, I'm wearing thermal undies. These are not mine, obviously, because of this little crotch hole here. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere. They're very warm. They're not as glamorous as Lily Silk, but uh, they're practical for January weather. And they... they bode well with uh, what we're about to make today. There are many different ways that you can go about making a Bloody Mary. Personally, I like mine to be like a lunch. I want it to be packed full of lots of different things. If I go somewhere and there's just an olive and a pickle, that's like a slap to the face. I need this to be packed full of the entire garden and be boozy. So let's get started. So first, we are going to start with our base. That can be tomato juice. I'm using organic, very veggie, low sodium. Not because I'm trying to be healthier, but um, that was what was on sale. And um, I'm putting lots of salty and spicy things in there, so I don't think we're going to miss the sodium at all. So I have my shaker full of ice already. And I'm going to be adding in uh, 5 ounces of our base. I'm going to put a couple, this is Worcestershire, my label fell off. I'm going to put in a few dashes of that. I have some fresh, fresh horse radish. Um, it says it's fresh, it's really not. If you actually buy it in the root, start with way less because this is like a serious kick to the schnoz. So less is more, and if you want it spicier, you can add a little bit more later. So I am using, oh, probably like a third of this spoon. Use whatever you want. Some fresh black pepper. I don't know if it's coming up. There we go. Now I can hear it. And I'm going to squeeze in half of a lemon and all over myself too and in my eye. All right. Now the vodka. I'm using Tito's. I like Tito's. It's, it's a great price point. It tastes good and um, it's really accessible. So way to go Tito's. So I'm going to be using Tito's today. And I'm going to be using, I don't know, like, what do I feel like? I think I'm going to go with three, three ounces of this today. Because there's no better way to start the new year. All right. So we got our vodka in. And... I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. I'm not going to shake it too much, just enough to incorporate um, the ingredients. There's ice in here. I don't want to um, dilute it too much, so I'm not going to shake it too long. All right, that's probably good. And I'm going to pour this into our glass. All right. 
but we are not done yet. So I have to garnish. So I'm going to start with the celery. And I'm going to put on some spicy um, Brussels sprouts. Some garlic stuffed olives. Some pickled asparagus. I know not everybody likes that, but I love that stuff. Um, some other pickled veggies. If I can get them out of there. There we go. Um, some people put bacon in their Bloody Marys. But I'm sticking with the Wisconsin theme here, and I'm using an old Wisconsin sausage stick. The bacon I saved for the grilled cheese. That's right, there's grilled cheese going in here. So I toasted my grilled cheese in my bacon fat, and I put some smoked Gouda on. Um, as you can see, I burnt my toast, but that's okay. It just I think it added to the whole smoky vibe going on. And of course, I added some um, cheddar cheese dill curds to the skewer. So we're going to add this in to our drink. It's a really top heavy drink. A pickle. And I'm going to add another little lemon wedge here. Don't forget the straw. But we are not done yet. There is no better way to wash down a Bloody Mary than with a nice cold beer. So I'm using, um, I have three sheeps today, it's their water slides. It's a Indian Pale Ale. I like it. I think it, it's refreshing. It'll make you feel like you're at the beach and it's not January. I think. Let's hope. There you have it. That is a Wisconsin style bloody with a beer chip.